How is going everyone? Today I'm here with my WWE Backlash 2018 paper predictions. Of course, Backlash is live on the WWE Narcos World well Paper Review tomorrow night. And overall, going to Backlash, I really have no hype or really expectations going into the show, simply because obviously WWE did not care for the show at all. All their focus and attention the last couple weeks were going into the Greatest War Rumble show, of course, happened last week. So Backlash kind of was on the back burner. It was kind of just there and it kind of just snuck up. It was just like, oh yeah, we have a, uh, an actual paper review next week. Um, let's you know use these Go Home shows to pretty much be the only shows building toward so um yeah not really too excited for backlash tomorrow night overall however i will say the card in the show is actually a pretty damn good card i really don't think there's a match on there that's really bad besides maybe a match or two i'll you know I'll probably say it'll be like okay you know the decent at most but besides that i do feel like every match on this card for the most part does have the potential to be at least a good match you know i don't think this is a bad card by any means like i said i just feel like this show was put in the back burner so it didn't really get any build or hype um going into it so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty unfortunate that you know that happened because I do feel like with proper build, uh, this could have been a paper you'd look forward to. But um, you know, like I said, just because it's still on the back burner from the Grace War Rumble, it didn't get the attention it deserved. So that's you know that's WWE nutshell for you. But on Backlash, we do have nine matches scheduled for the show. Of course, one of them taking place on the one hour kickoff show, one hour prior to pay per view. Bailey taking on uh, Ruby Riot, which is you know pretty much continuing the Riot Squad and Sasha Bailey thing from Monday Night Raw this past Monday, so uh, that's pretty much the continuation from that. But on the main card, we do have eight matches set in stone. Of course, we'll be having for the first time in ten years. Randy Orton taking on Jeff Hardy, but this time for the United States Championship. That is a match I am looking forward to just because, you know, we haven't seen that match in 10 years. So um, that should be, you know, a potential show stealer if you ask me. We'll be having Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman teaming up, taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Uh, we saw this match a couple weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, and we pretty much saw this match again on Raw this past Monday in a six man tag. So I don't think there's really was a need for this match, but I guess there's a way to get those four on the show. So. Not really much to say there. Uh, we'll be having The Miz challenging uh, Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Another good match right there, I think. Uh, that could potentially steal the show, honestly, too, if, you know, they live up to expectations. So, that definitely is one to look forward to. Uh, Nia Jax defending her Raw Women's title in a WrestleMania rematch against Alexa Bliss. Honestly, the WrestleMania match wasn't bad, so I can, you know, definitely see another, you know, decent and good match from those two um, here at Backlash. Speaking of women's title... Uh, Carmella defending her SmackDown Women's title against Charlotte Flair. Um, not really too sure what to expect from those two, honestly. I I, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on it. I'm not really too sure how Carme Carmella can fare on her own, especially against Charlotte. So maybe Charlotte can get a good match out of her, but I'm not really too sure about how uh, match quality it would be. Uh, Dinner Bryan having his first pay-per-view singles match in since Roman Reigns, I believe, in Fastlane 2015. Uh, so yeah, in over three years, taking on big cast of all people. Uh, which, you know, I think Brian will make it work. You know, Big Cass isn't the greatest, but Daniel Bryan is Daniel Bryan. So, one way or another, he'll make the match work, and I think it'll be good for what it is. Uh, Roman Reigns taking on Samoa Joe, which I'm pretty excited for, just because I've been waiting for those two to have a pay-per-view match. They've always had a lot of matches on Raw, and I think ever since they started pretty much feuding on and off since the summer of last year, uh, everyone's been dying for a pay-per-view match between the two of them. So, the fact that we're getting here is very exciting. So, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, they'll definitely to the house down uh, and potentially steal the show. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that match. Um, on the show. And then, of course, we'll be having uh, AJ Styles defending his WWE Championship in a WrestleMania and Greatest Royal Rumble rematch against Shinsuke Nakamura, but this time in a no-disqualification match. I definitely think the no-DQ match, our stipulation helps this match. You know, their match WrestleMania was whatever. The match of Greatest Royal Rumble will definitely was a step up. But I feel like here, with, especially with the no-DQ stipulation, uh, then just go out there and put in an awesome match and uh, hopefully show a stealing match and hopefully get the match that we've, you know, we've been wanting them to have. So, uh, hopefully, you know, they finally deliver uh, third time's a charm, right? So hopefully that's the case with those two. So, uh, yeah, that's the card rundown. I thought we'd see more time. Let's go ahead and jump around my predictions. Kickoff, Bailey versus Ruby Riot. I think they're going to continue off what they did on Monday Night Raw, which was the fact that, you know, Sasha and Bailey kind of cost each other. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Ruby Riot get the win after a Sasha distraction probably or something like that. Or maybe Bailey wins. I don't know, but I think they're leading up to Bailey and Sasha versus the Riot squad. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Ruby Riot to get the victory over Bailey. Intercontinental Championship match, Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins versus The Miz. I think it's very apparent that Seth Rollins will walk out still the Intercontinental Champion. I don't see him putting both mid-card titles on SmackDown Live. Uh, this should be a good match though. You know, him and Miz has some good chemistry, so I can, you know, fully expect a good match between both of them here. I'm um, not really sure where Miz goes, Miz goes afterwards, but, um, you know, Rollins has been having a great reign as Intercontinental Champion so far, so hopefully it keeps it up. And uh, has a pretty damn good match here, so my pick here is definitely for Seth Rollins to walk out still the Intercontinental Champion. SmackDown Women's Championship match, SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella versus Charlotte Flair. 
Honestly, I don't see Carmelo losing the championship that soon, but you know what? It is WWE, so it would not surprise me at all if they did give Carmelo a short title ring, get the title back to Charlotte. But I think Carmelo walking out champion is the right decision. Maybe the Iconics come out and, you know, help her retain, or maybe it's a DQ or kind of finish. I don't know. Uh, but one way or another, I do expect Carmelo to walk out of this match still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Honestly, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn need this one desperately. You know, Strowman and Lashley have already beat them multiple times. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a hard prediction to say that Bobby Lashley turns on Braun Strowman. I think Bobby Lashley will turn heel, turning on Braun Strowman, thus giving Owens and Zayn the win. That is my bold prediction for this match. Besides that, I think it's too predictable for Strowman and Lashley to get the win. They don't benefit at all from it. So uh, Owens and Zayn definitely need it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to pick up Bobby Lashley heel turn, thus Owens and Zayn winning. Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. You know, this match go either way. I can see Big Cass winning it, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say Daniel Bryan wins. You know, Daniel Bryan just came back, and I don't think him losing already is the right decision. However, it would not surprise me if Big Cass won. You know, maybe Miz comes out and distracts Bryan, or maybe some kind of, you know, screwy finish with Cass, you know, getting the upper hand and getting the win, uh, leading to a heel win. I don't know, you know, but I can definitely see Cass winning it. But I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb and say that uh, Daniel Bryan defeats Big Cass here in this matchup. Raw Women's Championship match, Raw Women's Champion Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss. I think, you know, I think it's very apparent as well that Nia Jax walks out still Raw, Raw Women's Champion. I don't see what benefit it has of making her transitional champion and giving back to Bliss already. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. I think, you know, she'll have a pretty lengthy reign as champion, unfortunately. But um, I just don't see her dropping title to Bliss. You know, they had a pretty decent match for WrestleMania. Hopefully they can have another, you know, decent to good match here. But yeah, kind of result, I do expect Nia Jax to walk out still Raw Women's Champion. United States Championship match, United States Champion Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. I'm very excited for this match, you know, first time 10 years to have faced, and uh, it's for the United States Championship, so it's pretty uh, pretty awesome to see how far they've come, and, you know, see him going from a main event title scene to a mid-card title scene, it's pretty insane. But, uh, can the result... I'm going to go with Jeff Hardy. You know, I don't see him losing to Randy Orton or, you know, him becoming a transitional champion. Maybe Orton turns heel in this match or maybe this program leads to Orton turning heel in the future. I don't know, but I definitely think Randy Orton needs to turn heel uh, coming out of this program uh, somehow. But I do think Jeff Hardy walks out still the United States champion in this match. Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. You know, as much as I want to see Samoa Joe win, and I think Roman, uh, I think Samoa Joe needs to win here. I think he really does need to benefit from it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say Roman Reigns. You know, he's fresh off of two losses to to Brock, uh, to Brock Lesnar, so I definitely think they wanted to try and rehash him and rebuild him. So I think a win over Samoa Joe will do that. Even though I think Samoa Joe definitely benefits more uh, winning this match than you know Roman Reigns does, but it's WWE. They want to put a good win on Roman Reigns, so him defeating Joe here is probably the right decision they're gonna go with. But like I said, I I would do want Joe to win, but. Uh, this should be a great match, potential match tonight. But coming out in the result, I do think uh, Roman Reigns walks out victorious. And then the main event, no disqualification match for the WWE Championship. WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This is a must-win situation for Shinsuke Nakamura. Therefore, my pick is that we'll be crowning a new WWE Champion in Shinsuke Nakamura. I think him, you know, doing a low blow followed by Kinsasha is a perfect way to win the championship. I just, I, I think it's idiotic if they have him lose here. It doesn't make any sense. He definitely needs to walk out the new WWE Champion, if you ask me. AJ Styles can afford to, can't afford to lose, you know, Chase Nakamura throughout the summer. Um, it's, you know, it's very, very basic stuff they can do. So, um, hopefully Nakamura walks out the new champion. Like I said, AJ Retain really doesn't make any sense. And, you know, it, it kind of killed Nakamura for him to lose numerous times. So, um, can end result. I'm predicting a brand new WWE Champion in Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE Backlash 2018 pay-per-view predictions. Like I said, Backlash is live on the WWE Network results pay-per-view tomorrow night. Um, like I said, I'm not really too hyped for the show. I really have no expectations for it, but I do feel like this is a good, solid card for the most part. It does have some matches that definitely, um, you, know, uh, you know, garner my interest. Like, you know, of course... Nakamura and Styles will always garner my interest. Uh, Joe and Reigns, Orton and Hardy, you know, Miz and Rollins should be a pretty damn good match. So about half the card has my attention for the most part. So, you know, it's not a bad sign at all when half the card has your attention because most of the time it's only like a match or two, maybe three that garners your interest and everything else kind of just there. So, um, like I said, good solid card, just never got the attention or built that it properly deserved. And especially, especially considering this is the first non-big four pay-per-view that is a dual brand pay-per-view. Of course, this is the first one pretty much going forward uh, that it's going to be dual brand. So you thought they'd make it a bigger deal. But like I said, 
took the back burner to the Grace or Rumble last week, so eh, it is what it is. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like below. If you guys like, leave your guys' predictions in the comment section below for the backlash. And of course, to my review tomorrow night, I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching the video. We're not afraid of dreaming big. Dream.